Right, this is an update video to one of my previous videos, which happens to be part the most popular video on my channel, which is to do with the upgrade to Windows 10 and getting the trackpad to scroll properly. Um, some people have been having problems with it and the link's gone out of date, so uh, I thought I'd just post another version of this video. This is a slightly different laptop to the last time. This is a HP G56, but the same method applies um, and it does work, but I will say that this is specifically for the Synaptics trackpad. Um, if you have a an Alps or another manufacturer, you may be able to use a similar method to get this to work. But uh, you'll obviously have to locate the drive, the correct drivers. Um, again, anything you try in this video is at your own risk. I would recommend having a USB mouse handy just in case it doesn't go to plan, uh, and then you need to uninstall the drivers. But uh, the first thing we're going to do is type into, uh, it doesn't matter what search engine you use, Bing or Google, in this case I'm going to be using Bing, just because that's there. So I'm going to type in Synaptics, so S Y N A. So you can see that uh, I've already been there before, so you want to go to www.synaptics.com. So we'll go to that website. Now, on their website, you want to go to the resources section and you want to download the driver so you can also try and get this from your manufacturer if your laptop is a newer one but in this case this is an old laptop it's not supported anymore by the manufacturer so you want this top one windows 10 ps2 and sm bus device driver the version may be different by the time you watch this but uh it should work so we'll download that it's asking us to save it and that's going to save so we'll wait for that to download and then we'll come back the file's finished downloading now and it's in our downloads folder so there it is we need to extract the contents because it's a zip file so we right click on it and select extract all and just click extract that's going to take a minute or two to depending on the speed of your computer this laptop's pretty slow so it'll take a little while um, but just come back when that's finished and that's finished now so the next step is to right click on the start button and select device manager and once device manager is open expand the mouse and other pointing devices section and right click on the one that looks most appropriate in this case there's only one but you're looking for ps2 compatible mouse or PS2 compatible trackpad or, or Synaptics PS2 trackpad or something along those lines and select the update driver software after right clicking on it and you'll get a message come up and you want to select the browse my computer for the driver software and then select the let me pick from a list and then select have disk click the browse button Browse to the folder where you've uh, where you've saved it. In which case, I've already. If I go to my downloads section, you can see there's the folder, there's the folder, there's the and and browse into there as well. Now this, you need to know whether you're running the 32 or 64-bit version of Windows. And the easiest way to find that is to right-click on the start button and select System. and it will tell you here 64-bit operating system so once you've done that you can close close that window so if it says 64-bit you select the x64 window uh, folder sorry and if it's 32-bit you select the x86 folder so and just double click one of these and click OK untick the box that says show compatible devices because it's actually showing the wrong one for some reason uh, and select the Synaptics PS2 port touchpad and click next it's going to warn you that this isn't the correct driver it's just because Windows doesn't know any better so just click yes and it will start to install we'll wait for that okay, so that's finished installing so we'll click finish we'll close and it's going to ask you to reboot so select reboot and let the computer reboot and when we'll come back and see if it works afterwards. The computer's now rebooted and I've entered my passcode. And you can see down here we've got a uh, UAC uh, pop-up waiting to be um, opened. So we'll open that 
and this is the uh, tool that runs at startup for the Synaptics trackpad, trackpad so you need to select yes and allow that to run. Um, it won't prompt after this, this is the first time and only time it will prompt. Um, but now we should find that we are able to scroll using the two finger scrolling method. So that's that's that. So hopefully that's a bit more useful, brings it a bit more up to date. Um, rather than providing the, provide the direct link, I'll just say that it's best to just search for the Synaptics website, go to www.synaptics.com um, and, and go from there. Uh, that way the link's not going to go out of date, so anyone who watched the previous video and couldn't find the link, then this is probably the better way to do it. Um, so there you go. Cheers. Bye-bye.